Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour. And in this tip, I want to make sure you understand when you delete photos, what exact photos are you deleting? Where are the photos stored that you take with your phone? I don't want you to make this mistake and delete your only copy. First, I'm going to talk just about the photos that are on your device. No cloud involved. Pretend that the cloud doesn't exist. When you first take a photo, it is stored on your device. It's stored in something called the camera roll, or sometimes it's called the DCIM folder. That stands for Digital Camera Images. Now, if you have an iPhone, then you probably use this Apple Photos app, whose job it is to show you the photos that are in your camera roll. So the photo isn't actually stored in Apple Photos. It's stored on the device, Apple Photos shows it to you. We call that a gallery app. And if you have a Samsung, the app is actually called gallery, its job also is to display for you the photos that are stored in your camera roll DCIM folder. Now, these two apps came pre-installed with your phones, but there are others that do the same function. Google Photos, for example. If you have Google Photos installed, it will show you the photos that are in your camera roll. They are not copied to Google Photos, very important to know. And the same with Amazon Photos. If you use the Amazon Photos app on your Android, it is also a gallery type of app. Do not delete a photo using the Google Photos or Amazon Photos thinking that you're deleting a copy. No, you are deleting the photo from your phone. It's there. It may be your only copy. I need, I want to demonstrate this for you. To demonstrate this, I'm, I'm have my Samsung phone here and I'm going to put it into airplane mode. So that means that this phone no longer has any connectivity to the cloud. So whatever happens is going to be happening just on the phone. And I'm going to take a photo. <laughs> I take a photo of these buttons. Now, where did that photo go? It went to the camera roll. We see it right here. And if I tap here, it opens the Samsung Gallery app. Now, I, it's obvious that if I deleted from here, it would be deleting from, from the phone. But what I want to show you is if I go to Google Photos, I see that same picture. It is showing me the picture that is on the phone, the one and only picture, copy of this picture because we don't have any cloud. If I delete it from here, it says this will move to the trash and I need to allow it. So now if I go to the Samsung Gallery, that photo is gone. Using Google Photos, I have deleted the photo that was on the device. And since I was in airplane mode, no app had the opportunity to upload that to the cloud, so that photo is gone. Actually, it's in the trash but only in Google Photos. So if you realize what you've done, you can go into Google Photos library and trash, you can find that photo and restore it. But if you don't do that, that photo is gone. Now let's put the cloud back into the picture. So with Apple Photos, if you use the recommended settings, that photo will get uploaded to Apple iCloud. On a Samsung, there is no automatic cloud connected to Samsung Gallery, but Google Photos, if you turn it on, will upload that photo to the Google Cloud. And same thing with the Amazon Photos app. If you set it up, it will automatically upload to the Amazon mm -hmm. Cloud. 
Now I want to step you through what happens if you delete a photo using the Apple Photos app. You, on your iPhone, you open up the standard Apple Photos, you open a photo and tap delete. It gets deleted from the device, the camera roll, DCIM folder, and also from the Apple Cloud. But it doesn't touch the Google Cloud or the Amazon Cloud copies. Now, if you delete using Google Photos, just using the trash can, I mean, there are other ways of deleting, but if you just use the standard trash can, here's what happens with the Google Photos. It will get deleted from the Google Cloud, that's obvious, but then it synchronizes down to the device and it will delete it from the device if you give approval. Now, Apple Photos notices that it's gone from the device and it will synchronize that deletion through to Apple Cloud. So you no longer have any copies of that photo. That may be what you want. If it was garbage, you want it deleted from everywhere. That's a good thing. It's just important that you know what you're deleting.